Welcome to Can Camp. Today we are going to add a stove jack to the gazelle. I have popped it open, had a look inside, found out where I want to put it. I'm going to put it in this corner right here, nice and low. Got one with a rain flap on it. So now, cut out a piece of cardboard roughly let's say a half inch smaller than the sides we're gonna put that underneath there where we like it make sure that, that is where we want it to go Okay, so we're gonna uh, lift this away. We're gonna draw around the cardboard. We're gonna cut where the cardboard is. I'm gonna melt, and then I'm gonna tape with some, uh, probably some Gorilla Tape. So I'm not gonna show you while I'm doing this because there might be some words that may not be appropriate for some viewers. So, Let's get this started. All right, painter's tape, inside out roll. I mark the edges in the center here where the cardboard goes. So you can line it back up again, there we go. Sharpie. I didn't want it too far inside because I know that the gazelle will pop out, which will give me enough room on the inside of the tent. There we go. That is what we're cutting out. This is either about to be a brilliant idea or a very expensive mistake. Bum bum bum. Make sure I'm not cutting through everything here. reasons why I want to melt this is because of its if you were to get a tear in it as you can see from cutting it with the scissors I don't think the tear would stop until it got all the way into the other side So the idea with this is just to get rid of any edges that might tear, not to melt the entire tent away. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this really nice gorilla tape and I'm gonna just make sure that these edges are protected so by laying the non-sticky side down and measuring the hole Go. 
Okay, so we have the hole. We've done the corners. Here is the stove jack, upside down, of course. And that's the side, so it's got a sleeve, Velcro. You roll it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our adhesive and we are going to make sure that we have a great seal all the way around. So in the summertime and it rains, it won't leak. I forgot to mention, um, once we get it all on there, I'm going to make sure that it's spread. Um, and then we're going to put it on here. And watch it set. Won't that be fun? Far so good. Oh, a little on the thumb. If I have to, I can always do another bead along the top, but I think that should be okay. All right, looks pretty good. Not bad for a guy from Can Camp. Oh, uh, gonna put the halogen light on it. That'll help it cure anyway. No, looks pretty good. I think it'll work great. We'll try it out tomorrow. There's the Winterwell camp stove with the viewing port. And I got a drip pan for it underneath. Because if it's snowy, it's going to get wet. And I'd rather have a dry place to put my boots in front of the fire than a wet place. Well, thanks for joining. Um, and we'll check tomorrow in the update to see how it worked out. It works like a hot damn. Works like a charm. Hello. It is so hot in here. <laughs> like really hot. And the winter well stove works absolutely amazing. That's good. And my job there, I'm glad I decided that I would <laughs> come in. glue it instead of stitching it because when I close the flap, we can still use it in the rain. So, yeah. And we can make there you go. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Wow. Cool. Good job. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one.